Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to our furniture flipping adventure. My name is Sarah. Today we are taking part in the Spring Fling collaboration. So very welcome to you if this is your first time to our channel and you found us through the collaboration. It is hosted today by Sabs Rehabs. I'll have a link for her channel down in the description along with a playlist of all the other wonderful YouTubers who are taking part in today's collaboration. I've obviously chosen this bed frame that's been sitting in my shop for quite a while. The most interesting part is these side rails are metal and they're rusty. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. So the inspiration for today's piece is obviously spring and I decided what better way to be inspired by spring than to sit out here on this beautiful spring day and just kind of soak in the essence of spring. Now spring looks different for different people depending on where you live. The springs I experience here in Texas are very different from the ones that I grew up with in southern Canada. So trying to decide which part of spring to be inspired by is an interesting journey but the longer I sat out here thinking the more I thought you know my favorite thing about spring is just the freshness of the air the beautiful blues in the sky and I think that's what I'm going to be inspired for how I'm gonna translate it into a bed frame I am not exactly sure but I'm gonna let the spring skies guide me today on this spring fling adventure and let's go ahead and get started my first order of operations with all my pieces is to get them cleaned and like I said earlier this thing has been sitting in my shop for quite a while and it's, it's pretty dirty and dusty. I use crud cutter, it's a cleaner and degreaser and it's a good way to start out to make sure that you remove as many oils as you can from the piece that'll just help your paint in the long run along with dust and dirt and grime that can get in the way of your paint adhering properly. is going to be an ugly piece. It's going to take me a while to clean. Can you see this piece bleeding? Look at that stuff turning brown as it goes down. It is just gross. Definitely going to want to use a stain blocking primer before I add any other paint on top of this. This is one of those pieces where I've got to this point and I'm like, it's probably not going to be worth the time and effort that I put into this piece, but spring is not about giving up and sending things to the dump. Spring is about resurrection and new life and a fresh start, so let's go onward. This footboard apparently at some point in its life had something that went onto the top here. I don't know what it was, maybe another board that went across, but whatever it is, it's gone now. So we're gonna have to take that off or do something with it to make it work. Like I said earlier, got some rust on this that we'll have to sand down and seal with a primer that's meant for something like this. Now wait a minute, didn't I say that I was going to be inspired by the sky? Why am I starting with a dark gray? Well, 
patience. I'll get to it. I'm gonna give everything this dark gray coat and build all of my sky colors on top of it. Even a spring sky can be a bit stormy. With the very little paint on my brush, I'm going to be dry brushing over the piece with this very light blue. This is going to be the base of my sky. It's not going to be the only blue I use, but it's going to be the majority of the blue that I use. The sky is always changing. It's never the same blue two days in a row. Some days it quite literally decides to rain on your parade. And then other days it just smiles at you and you can't help but smile back. The sky is changing and unpredictable, but that's what makes it beautiful. I sealed this piece off camera with a water-based top coat, and now I'm going in with my clouds, or, I guess you could call it wax, a white wax. I used a regular wax and then mixed some white paint in it. And as I added over top of all the colors, it kind of helps to soften and blend them all together, giving it a cloudy, smoky kind of look. At least that's what I think. You'll have to tell me if you like it as well. Yes, my hair is gone. I've been trying to grow it out so I could cut it off to donate to a place that makes wigs for kids with cancer for months now. Actually, last year, both my father and my brother were both diagnosed with cancer. Cancer affects so many families and I wanted to give back in this small way to hopefully touch another family struggling through this difficult time in their lives. I don't know if you've noticed, but the headboard portion of the bed is actually lower than the footboard. Now, this would mean that whoever slept in this bed, their head would be below their feet, and that's just not going to work. So my husband and I came up with an idea of how to build and attach these little feet to raise up the headboard so that this bed will be flat. So why didn't we do that and attach them before I started painting? Well, that's because I am a master at procrastinating.
Well, here she is, as untamed and unpredictable as the sky. With varying colors and textures, she is a breath of fresh air. Let me know what you think of her down in the comments. I look forward to seeing and reading and responding to each and every comment that I get. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I have that playlist down in the description so you can keep watching Spring Fling Flips all day <laughs> if you don't have anything else to do. Make sure to let me know down in the comments if you think that I met the challenge of spring. I really enjoyed painting this piece and I enjoy bringing you along for the process. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, click the button down below to make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content. We normally post every Wednesday. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.